What's behind the bright lights of the sky signs? Here's the biggest one of them all. Let's take it apart and see what makes it click. So I've got a dirty little secret to confess here. You saw me trying to install the wiring harness through the grommet already in the firewall and I had to try it and of course it didn't work. I've never been able to get it to work. Um, what I should have done was made sure I had this on hand while I was building the harness and installed it in the right place and then I could just put half the harness through the firewall and snap it in. But I didn't. So anyone replacing just the harness, you're going to have to break your old grommet and you're going to have to cut open the new one. I hate doing stuff like that, but it's just the reality. It is impossible to get all these wires through that little hole. So, I'm going to put our hood latch cable through here. Weather strip adhesive. Black silicone would also be a good product. You just don't need much. Don't make a mess of it and make it obvious. And here's what it looks like installed. Maybe somebody has a better idea out there, but I've never been able to find one, so. So this is my next really crusty harness that I'm working on, rebuilding. This goes from the ignition switch to the coil, from the starter to the horn relay to the ammeter. You got all that positive power going through Scary, scary wiring. There's no way I'd let this car out of the door like this. So, got to be done. And so, since I've got three ends on this large wire, pretty sure I got a solder joint right there. I'm not 
All right, we're going to build the short little harness that goes from the headlight and the fog light to the inner fender. So I'm going to start by taking these two apart. screw is being very stubborn and this fog light is not helping matters so we have to go slow and easy with my little right angle screwdriver here Back and forth, keep loosening it. 
Finally got it. I'm gonna have to find a new one. It was not happy coming out. Got a crusty old grommet in here, hard as a rock, very difficult to push through. Usually end up having to break them. Okay, this car has fog lights, obviously, and so in order to get the harness out, I need to snip the terminal off. Not every car is going to have that. I can pull that wire out that way. And then raise you up. And I can pull the whole assembly out through the headlight bucket. If I can break this grommet. There we go. parts pre-cut since I did the right hand side already this is cloth loom that's been soaked with asphalt if you take a look at the original stuff it's actually still holding up quite well I mean there's frayed parts but So from 1948 to now, this is still somewhat holding together. My plastic loom under my 98 Chevy truck looks like this. So I think this was definitely a better product. But it couldn't have been cheaper. So anyway, um, I'm going to start, since I have a fog light to deal with, and I don't want to run it outside of the loom and tape it like they did. I'm going to run it inside. But I can't go through the headlight bucket because that's not where the wire needs to go. So I'm going to make a hole in the loom right there. Okay, I've got a hole big enough for my screwdriver here. Trying to get a hole big enough for my wire to go in. There we go. Just run that all the way through and then I'm going to measure here. And make that match and that's looking pretty good actually Maybe just a tiny bit more back there we go well keep going too far both ways that'll work that was nice and tight and that'll seal kind of seal back up for me now for the hard part, I need to get the headlight, the grommet that goes in the back of the headlight bucket around the loom. So, 
getting a soft flexible loom into through the rubber grommet is a very difficult task and I had to come up with a way to do it. I found this little brass very thin wall pipe just in my collection of things. So I'm going to grease it up with Sil Glide, and I'm using that because that won't affect, affect the uh, the rubber in a bad way. It won't soften the rubber up. Probably like a petroleum product would. So I'm going to push this over. Just want to get that started over. There we go. So I push that through there. And my loom fits through the pipe. So now the hard part, I need to get the pipe back out. Or I should say the next hard part. But I want to match this up. And I can see that was right about there so I'm a little far so something like that now next I need to get the pipe back out from between the two And there may be a whole lot better way to do that, but I don't know it. So there we go. There are the old and the new. Yeah, I need to put this spade, that, onto this, with the green. Okay. And when you solder, you have to have flux. Flux. Oh, that's flux. It gets rid of the oxygen. And, and it's just like welding, you need to get rid of the oxygen to make a good connection. Okay. Put that on. Whoops. And I forgot. Tube. The heat shrink. What's that do? That protects the connection. Oh. Since I don't have, uh, it's not insulated where we're soldering. Okay. So I'll put that. Oh. So just pull it till the light comes on the first time. Are you? If you back off, does it like barely squeeze it? Like half. See, it clicks two times. Yeah, tell you what, let's do it this way. Or do you want me to do the solder? Oh, I'll do it. I want to. Bye. So you have this in that hand. Keep holding it down. You'll hear that.
Okay. We have a plain one bits of ring. A plain one? Because that's so well, there's no color on there. Put the heat one? shrink on and then the flux. Ooh, that's warm. What is flux? Touch that. Okay. Just don't touch any metal part of it. Crimp it. Now put it right there. Right. 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 You just out of the way. You just out of the way. This is the original headlight connector, and I cut it off because I want to reuse it. It's still really nice. Plus, I'm weird like that, I guess. You can buy a different style, newer one, but they don't look as good. Or, if you look on part sources for Porsche 911s, you can find one that's very similar. And in the end, it doesn't matter because it's in the headlight bucket anyway. But I'll show you what I do to reuse them. Now, first of all, i got to get the connectors out. And they have four little hooks, two on each side. This is what they look like. Now I cut the wire because I've never been able to remove the old wire from this terminal. I always end up just ruining the terminal there. So I'm going to strip the old insulation off the old wire now. I left these a little long, I'm going to take about half of it off. So we only about have three, three eighths to a quarter inch wire sticking out. Dip them all in the flux. Dip all my other ends in the flux. My heat shrink on. And now we're going to solder them on.
and we end up with a very solid connection. And if you were weird like me and want to reuse them, just be sure to bend the little hooks out a little bit, ever so slightly, just to make sure they grab the little ledge inside the connector. And then you need to put them back where you got them from. So the black was there, green was on top, and the natural was to the left. Oh, and I forgot, I lost a clip. This holds tension. Oh, it broke. I'll have to get a new one of those. I have some old pieces. So I'll be sure to do that. But this. This holds tension on the terminal, the two halves. When you slide your headlight terminal in there, I think it just helps hold connection better.
right, you can see I've got instrument panel speedometer back in on the front. Oh, and the ignition switch down there. And if we stuff ourselves back under the dash, you can see what I've replaced under here. Well, you can kind of see it. Such terribly cramped quarters, but uh, there's the back of the speedometer with its new lights. And everything I've replaced in here. Going out towards the firewall. So I've got two, let's see, the, um, the wires for the horns and the park lamps are pretty frayed. I'm going to replace those, rebuild those, and that'll pretty much close up this wiring chapter of this project. As only to be a combination engineer, electrician, strongman, juggler, and the man on the flying trapeze. Anyhow, there's very little traffic up here. Just think of the poor pedestrians down there, dodging back and forth among those cars. What chances people do take. A fellow is certainly a lot safer up here. <laughs>